Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri, presenting this tutorial from Canada. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can control a servo motor using a push button. When we press it, it goes from 0 to 180 degrees and stop. Or you can set it to go between 50 to 110 degrees, for example. In this case, it, it goes now to 50 and it goes back to 110. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. I will reply to all comments and questions of my channel subscriber. Make sure to subscribe and leave the notification on. I have different types of code for controlling servo motor using push buttons because they are required in many applications. I have a project that you can control a servo motor using push button where the servo motor moves from 0 to 180 degrees and then returns back to 0. Or you can change it that it starts from 180 to 0 and returns back to 180. Also, I have a project that you can control a servo motor using push button. When you press the push button, the servo motor starts from 0 to 180 and returns back as long as you keep the push button pressed. When you release the push button, the servo motor will stop. Also, I have another project that you can control a servo motor using two push buttons. One push button to move the servo motor to the right and the other push button will move the servo motor to the left. When you release the push button, the servo motor will stop. Also, I have a project that you can control 16 servo motors with different type of uh, codes. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let me briefly explain the servo motor. Servo motor is a type of motor that uh, the shaft can be controlled to move only 180 degrees or half a, cycle, half a circle, something like that. And then you can control precisely where it should be between 0 and 180 degrees. There are also other types of servo motors that, for example, there is something called continuous servo, which I have the link below it will rotate 360 degrees and you, these are the most common one and also you might get this type of servo motor which is very heavy with high torque it is the same way it can go 0 to 180 degrees and it will stop so this is mg966r version and this is the metal gear this is all metal and this is a plastic gear so this will be much cheaper, like three or four or five times cheaper than this. Uh, but uh, in general, this is the operation. And so the servo motor has three wires. The darker wire is the ground. The five volts is always at the middle in case we, you make mistake in terms of connection in RC or car or airplane. So the middle is always five volts. And this is a signal. You might see it as a black wire and this side red is always red and this side you might see white but doesn't matter so they are the same configuration is exactly the same ground 5 volts and signal now let me explain the wiring for the wiring i'm using this push button here the push button is of, of long a pen type two push two pins it makes it easy you can get it from ebay or amazon i have the link below this video so the two pin of this push button uh, is connected to the ground and to pin 2 so my push button is connected to these two pins my servo which has three wires I've connected using this extra uh, extension here to make it easy connect the brown wire to the ground of Arduino the middle pin to 5 volts and the signal wire orange to pin 2 in this case and if you pay attention here we have tilde at pin 3 uh, at pin 3 sorry and then tilde is here 
5, 6, and 9, 10, 11. These are all passive modulation enable pin. For example, 7 and 8 will not work, 4 will not work. So keep that in mind. Let me now explain the code. We are including the servo header. The servo.h is part of the Arduino IDE. You don't need to download anything. It's already available. But in this line, we are using this uh, servo class. And we create an, an instance of it. We call it my servo. And in this line, define servo pen. We define pen 3 for a servo to be connected, the signal line. And this is a pen that has tilde. You can choose any other pen that has tilde, which means it's pulse weight modulation enabled. And we use push button pen pin 2 for push button pin which we will use ac uh, across the code and this angle initial value you can set other value if you uh, if you wish step is the increment step every time it moves from one value to other in the increment of 5 if you want it to go faster make it 10 15 whatever you want if you want to make it very slow or precise go to even one, one degree and these two values are minimum and maximum of angle uh, I put this because sometimes you don't want from 0 to 180, let's say you want from 0 to 90, or you want from 100 to 120, or some, some value. But if you want 0 to 180, leave it as is. Keep that in mind because this is minimum angle. This value must be smaller than this value, otherwise this code will not work. And, and this integer push button pushed is a variable that is holding when push button is pushed. So we do not change that. Inside the setup, from here to here, this happens only once. Serial.begin initializes the serial monitor. Serial monitor can be accessed by clicking at tools, serial monitor, or pressing control shift and M, or on the right side here, you can click and this is a serial monitor will open and will print this text at the right side at the lower corner you will see this number from here you can set the baud rate 9600 baud or 9600 uh, bit per second this if I close it this is a value it must match otherwise you will not be able to read the value my servo dot attach servo pen this is as if I type 3 here so pen 3 will be assigned to the servo and pen mode push button pen this is pen uh, 2 this is as if I type 2 we have defined it here we are, we're defining this pen as an input but I'm using also pull up the pull up job is to eliminate usage of a resistor when the button is not pressed it always pulls it up or pulls it to 5 volts a separate video explaining that if you do not use this pull up or you just use input you need to use a resistor and then serial.print this just prints a text you see the double quotation so this is our text and then my servo.write angle you can put a value here and the servo moves to that location because this is inside the setup this is our initial position of the servo if you want to put any other value or something just put here the servo will be initially at that uh, location inside the loop we check the push button using digital read push button pen this is pen 2 so we read the value and compare it against the value of low using this uh, comparison of two equal sign and when push button is pressed it will be low if it is equal low then it means this is true whatever is inside f when it is true then this will happen what happens is we put one into the push button pushed value so now this will have the value of one or true and we check if button pushed is true I could use equal equal one but it, it, it's excess this also means if it is true one is always true zero is false so if it is true then we get the angle which was 90 and this was let's say 5 or 10 if this was 10 90 plus 10 will be 100 and this value will be stored in this variable now 100 so angle will be 100 which later on when we send it to the servo the servo will move to the 100 and the loop will come next time this will be 100 and then this is 10 it will be 110 so the servo will move with that whatever value of the step is in that direction and here we check if angle is smaller or equal than minimum which is smaller than zero 
or these two pipe or vertical line also it means or if angle is equal or above the maximum which is for example in this case 180 if that's the case whatever it is we want the servo to move into in the other direction so that's why you put minus so this angle becomes negative the step will become negative so now pay attention here if this was 90 and this is minus 10 then 9, 90 minus 10 will be 80 so the calculated value will be 80 and the servo will go to the 80 degrees and here my servo dot right angle that angle whatever value it is the servo will move and also we print this text inside the quotation that's the text and then the angle whatever is angle we will print it with a little space we print this text as degree so this will be displayed in one line and here we have ln this will create new line otherwise these will be printed side by side and we give it 100 millisecond for the servo to move you can play with this if you want it to act faster reduce it make it smaller until you see that the servo will stop responding because the servo has a certain limit and the specification of each servo will be different and the loop will continuously do the same thing now i've loaded the code into my arduino uno board and everything is ready serial monitor is already open and the default value was around 90 so this is at 90 and i'm when i press it once it goes to 180 and uh, as you can see it, pr it prints and stops when i press it again then you will see that it will rotate to this value and stop here so now it stops at zero if i press it again it goes at 180 and stops so you can set the limit uh, your own way if you want uh, if you want this to work between uh, 50 and 110 it will just work fine now let me open the serial monitor and you see it goes up to 110 and stop if i press it again it goes up to 50 and stop 110 50 so using this push button you can keep it within the boundary that you prefer If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. If you are a subscriber of my channel, I always try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe. Or control them one by one. or just control for example 5